Today's topic is study. Part 1. Style questions. Try answering these recent exam questions. Just give a short, direct answer and a reason. Are you a full-time or part-time student? I am presently a part-time student. I am pursuing a course on writing that I take during weekends. I am a full-time student and currently doing my intermediate studies. Do you like studying? Yes, I like studying because it's the best way to gain a deeper insight into any subject. I like reading, learning from others, and trying to understand difficult concepts. Do you prefer to study alone or with others? I prefer to study alone because I need to be able to concentrate fully. Other people are a distraction. Where do you prefer to go when you need to study? I like to find a quiet corner in my local library. Being in an old building and surrounded by books seems to help me to focus on my work. How do you feel if someone disturbs you when you are studying? It frustrates me because it breaks my concentration. I prefer to avoid distractions by going somewhere. Where nobody will interrupt me. Part two, style task. Describe a teacher that had a positive influence on you. You should say what subject this teacher taught, how long he or she was your teacher, what positive attributes this teacher had, and explain why you remember this teacher in particular. I consider myself lucky. To get several very good teachers throughout my academic years, among them, I'd like to talk about Mr. Smith, who was an extraordinary teacher, a really good mentor, and who has a great influence in my education. I met Mr. Smith when I was in class four, and he was our math teacher. Initially, we thought that he would be a moody teacher, and we would have to be very polite in front of him. This impression came mostly because of his serious face and tidy dress-up. But soon, we found that he is a very friendly person and teaches us very well. He never made things complicated and tried over and over again to explain something to us. He had a unique way of teaching. Seems like he would start an interesting story, and later we would find that he would relate the math to the story. Thus, everything we learned from him. Was interesting, and that's why we remember most of the theory and techniques of math he taught us. I'd say he has a great influence in my education because he made a very strong foundation on mathematics. Later on, I studied science, and mathematics was the most important subject. I have always been good at math, and that mainly because of Mr. Smith, who had a major role in making the subject interesting to me. Before I learned math from Mr. Smith, my impression on math was not good, and I considered mathematics to be a very difficult and uninteresting subject. But his teaching and influences changed my way of thinking about math, and later on, math became my one and most favorite subject. Part three: Style questions. What was your favorite subject during school? I really loved English as a child. I remember reading chapters that the teachers had not taught, and reading the book again and again. I used to be the one in English class who knew the story beforehand and would have, by the end of the term, almost memorized it by words. What is the education system like in your country? Our education system comprises of two main exams. One is the high school, and the other is the intermediate. Most often, the score that students get in high school define the kind of school they will enter in. Intermediate and on the basis of intermediate school, they get the college. Apart from this, there are several exams that a student gives to enter into the college.
Do you think school and university prepares young people adequately for real life? I am not very sure of it, because I have seen people who have learned a lot about real life from their teachers and friends in the books that they have read. On the other hand, I have even come across people who don't know a thing about life. So, I think to an extent it all depends on the kind of teachers in school that you go into. It surely does have an impact. Do you think there is a lot of pressure on young people at school these days? Surely, yes. Pressure has increased among young people when compared to the earlier times. In our times, we were more bothered about learning things and going to our granny house during summer holidays. Today, I see people going to a lot of groups and doing activities in their summer holidays. When you look at it in a way, it is kind of good for their overall development. But I think when done without taste it does becomes pressure.